likely. Oh, is that because I held the uh, the duchy? It says my domain limit is seven. How come it's saying that? Just being stupid. Hopefully it'll uh, fix itself. There we go. It was just uh, weirdness on game start. Right. <sighs> Would like to get him, but he's expensive. Um... It's like we don't have a good chancellor available at the moment. Council invitation. We're now the Marshal of Scotland. Excellent. Good stuff. Go with him. Oh no, he's shockingly crap. I was looking at the wrong stat. Oh, bollocks. Oh shit, shit, shit. You're fired. You're just too bad. <laughs> right, let's uh, reassign the spy master. My niece, you're cheaper. There we go. Problem solved. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Probably should look at these at some point. Don't care. Don't care. You can ransom a mayor. Greetings, Duke Hamish. Yep. Ugh. I don't have many knights. Let us invite some. The control in Buchan and Angus, apparently. Okay. Go for Buchan first, I think. Right. How to deal with Dane Law? How to deal with Dane Law? Mm. 
Duke Henry. Oh, it's Duke Henry. For 13, cannot afford a full ransom of 100. Well, then, no. <laughs> Wait until you have more money. <laughs> yes. Elgin, mostly. It's got a keep now, which is uh, something. How do I move here? Ah. Can't do it while at war. Fair enough. can rename it if I choose. Fun. Good morning, Delpy. How are you doing? We're a Duke. We're the Duke of Moray now. You're just contemplating playing it yourself. I'm a bit narked, actually, because uh, although I have achievements enabled, see it says here, achievements available, uh, they're not unlocking. And I think that is an issue to do with the fact that I started the game under the release version, version 1, or was it 102? I can't remember. But now it's on, it, there was an update during the save game, and uh, apparently that breaks achievements. Really paradox. You, you're too stingy with the uh, achievement unlocking. You really are. It's like, who cares if someone, like, cheeses the achievements? Like, <laughs> they're way too picky about it. Less. I turned off my mic. Uh, typical. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, we're in a war, but don't don't think I care. Uh, my mic's on. Um, yeah, yeah, we're all, all right. Millie is uh, asleep. And everyone else is out of the house. <laughs> uh, do Not endorsed by my bishop. Why not? I'm nice. Of course, the bishop has changed. Um, right, can you afford anything more now? Nope, because I'll only afford 10. Conceding heated my summons and has arrived. Ugh. People keep trying to claim my titles, which I don't like. Competent fighter, yes, we'll take you. Ooh, and you. Mm, I have heard news about stealth. Um, and it is good news and happy news. 
I'm sure he's going to uh, announce things properly um, soon enough. Um, but yeah, he's, he might be a bit quiet on the old videos for a bit. I know he's already done Taskmaster, so that'll be up. But yep. Um, as far, last I heard, it happy and healthy. Um, probably be a couple of days before he's actually ready to post stuff. Yeah, no, really good news. Not one hundred percent certain, but I think he think uh, I think he posted on his Patreon um, how things went. I'm not one of his patrons, <laughs> but um, I think I think that's where he posted it up. And uh, the um, the Taskmaster Admirals um, heard about it. A uh, new stewardship book. Good, good, good. Hello, Jamie. It's going alright. How are you? Well, you were one, but can't afford it. Yeah. Um, I am kind of kind of hoping that. Um, Ulmure? Oh yeah, bring it. I want to take your titles, that would be perfect. Do it, do it. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Completely forgotten. Never mind. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, Patreon. Um, I don't know if he has any of the uh, uh, Naval Architect slots open. I uh, couldn't go and have a look, I suppose. Um... Because I was considering doing that, but I would need enough on my own Patreon to do that, if that makes any any sense. Let's see, have a look. Go. I seem to remember Naval Architect is not cheap yeah fifteen dollars a month plus vat uh oh there's loads of them remaining so but i would need uh, an equivalent bump in my own patreon to be able to do that yeah pretty much that's how it would work so um i mean sometimes i'd have my own ideas that i'd submit for the naval architect but uh, we could, yeah, we could certainly do it like that. So my own patrons could submit scenarios, and then I uh, put them into a stealth-friendly format and uh, put them up as the uh, naval architect. Uh, I treat you my knights. Perfect chance to give Hector pointers. Uh, let's give Hector some pointers. Get him some prestige. Oh, thank you very much. Alright, you like me now? Ah, he has endorsed me. Good, 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 good. Alright. Uh, last time I was deciding between the marches and the royal preserves. I think I'm going to go for the marches. I think. I think that's a better bet. Defender advantage plus four. Not. But this is for every province. Every holding in the duchy. Supply limit plus 25 for us only. Fort level plus one, hostile raid time, garrison size, and levy reinforcement rate. That is just, that is good. Right, 
can probably stop swaying after this one finishes. And meme ships. No, I don't do them very often. Um, I prefer uh, doing historical ones. Um, historical or, you know, designing my own what if, you know, how I would build the ship from a game point of view. Um, I, don't, I don't do meme ships very often at all, actually. I mean, ships might end up meme -y. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Yeah, exactly. Variations thereof, or, you know, what if... You know, things like the Superhood, or, or things like that. I'm, I, I like doing that, but... Um, yeah. I can get quite picky with the... I want to do things for 20 old. Well, I guess uh, he never ponied up the money. <laughs> yeah, so rough plan is to look for an opening to take Inverness, Sutherland, and Caithness, which are all de jure part of our realm. Uh, but we're going to have to... Uh... Oh, they got married by themselves. Excellent. Start making children. Um... Because, yeah, Inverness, Ross, Sutherland and Caithness are all part of the Duchy of Moray. Right, should be able to forward the marches now. Wonderful. Oof. Okay, that's just amazing. <laughs> How you deliberately build a bad ship. The Gangut class. I'm going to look that up. First dreadnoughts for the Russian Navy. Have a look. Uh, nine inch belt. Well, that's problematic. Like no no armor at all. <laughs> Armament. Four triple twelve inch guns. What's so bad about them? I'm not reading the entire uh, Wikipedia article. Because <laughs> on first glance, apart from their distinct lack of armour, like it doesn't look at the layout. Let's see if we can find a system. Whoa! <laughs> Okay, so turret, tower, funnel, turret, funnel, turret, funnel, turret. Mmm. <laughs> 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 mm. 
slow, unreliable, weak, and inaccurate. Ah, sounds good to me. <laughs> I was actually thinking about maybe doing a build a rubbish ship uh, challenge. Kind of like the uh, the spy series. Now I need to have a think about what else I'm going to build in Elgin. Cathars. Um, probably a forestry. Forestry. Maybe a trade port. And then outposts. Hmm. Do at the end. Oh yeah, that. That's quite nice. Oh. Another crusade. Uh, we will join, of course. <laughs> uh, who shall we point? It's a beneficiary. How about this this uh, lass? Oh my god. <laughs> 16 ages of free ball. That's stupid. That is incredibly stupid. Launches in November. Next year. Okay. What are my secrets? Oh, that she, uh, that this guy's my, uh, bastard son. <laughs> Should probably keep an eye on him. Bring him into court. Tyranny. Tyranny. Don't want to get tyranny. Mm. No. Can't do anything against him at the moment. Excellent. Oh, you're willing to pay a reasonable amount now? 49 gold. Fine. Guilds. Go for it. Accusations of sorcery. Burn him. <laughs> Where 
Russia did not believe that superfine turrets offered any advantage. Broadsides, yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm. Yeah, let's go for this one. Oh, they both are annoyed. Oh well. They're only mayors. Open sights. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Crusade for Jerusalem. Desvolt. Raise. Mm. Oh, you captured England? As who? And well done. Gained a level of devotion. Lovely. Oh, a stem mark. Hello then, H. We're on a crusade again. Where'd my army go? There it is. Yeah, well, those barons do be rebelling. Depends whether you can do a Magna Carta type thing or whether they uh, just punt you. land in Beirut and uh, I think we're against this slot so uh, let's immediately march on their capital or this fort anyway start sieging it God, not 18, nearly 20,000 troops they have. Good Lord. Uh, juicy, I don't want Juicy's territory in the Holy Lands, but I don't mind the gold and the prestige that comes from it. Yep, yeah, we're able to sustain much, much larger armies. Siege in Damascus going well. It looks like we're being attacked. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's so satisfying when you can pull that off. Uh, bad harvest. Uh, let's investigate the county's problems. Ah, we won a victory against the infidels. Uh, 
Elder of Ross, partly from bad management. Oh, did um, his dad die? I hold you responsible for this. No, I will fix it. What did he die of? Oh, he was slain. Oh, <laughs> we ax well, that's one way of getting rid of the Earl of Ross, who I didn't like very much. Have him killed during the crusade. <laughs> oh, more things you're doing wrong? Such as Crusader Kings three related, I'm assuming. <laughs> oh, we captured some people. Good, good, good. Fifth type of building and capital. Uh, yeah, you need to hold the um, you need to hold the uh, duchy title for that. Nice. Victorious crusade. Saint George is with us. Okay, what do we get? Uh, <gasps> we were rank one. <laughs> Look at that loot. 12,000 gold, 17,000 prestige and 400 piety. My goodness me. Right, let's get the troops back. <laughs> mm. Yeah, diversifying excess titles. Yeah, a uh, very powerful uh, thing you can do. Oh, okay. We can just disband them. That's fine. Wow, I know, right? <laughs> so much money. So much money. How much does the how much does the bad boy cost? Oh, we don't have hoardings. Okay, but uh, we can afford some other stuff. Like we can afford the forestry. Uh, the bishop brick is probably fine. And they're already upgrading something. A lot of investment. Yep. I'm gonna plow it into uh, Elgin, and I'm also going to. Increase the size of my uh, retinues, men at arms regiments, even. Get them a little bit bigger. Oh, we can ransom prisoners. Some shake. Or oh, chic. This person. And this person. Lovely. <laughs> oh, yeah, the march is upgrade. It's finished. Um, but yeah, the upgrade. Look at the third one. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. <laughs> she rattle and roll. <laughs> yeah, sure, whatever. What was his actual name? She 
Ibn Sulf yeah, something. And Abdul Razak, so I think you uh, misread that. <laughs> Otto Connaught Vassalization War. Trying to vassalize Connaught, eh? I think the King of Scotland can deal with that. Because he's already laying siege. I need Danelaw to fracture. Very annoying that they hold this. And that is it over. Okay, that means I can move the realm capital to Elgin. Perfect. <coughs> Polo program? Yeah. Call to war. Sure, but you'll be on your own. <laughs> mm. Get some nice gardens on the go. See if we can get exalted amongst men. Okay, gotcha. My grandson? Which grandson? Okay, not not the important one. Good. Firing engines for lunar insertion. All right. Hit me with it. Burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. <laughs> Let's become an architect. Lovely. Almost got those logging camps finished. Okay. Then I was going to go for the trade port. There, there is the gold from the crusade spent. <laughs> Getting keeps.
Someone's plotting to kill my bishop. Mm. It's a beautiful herd, but it could be larger. Yeah. I did the video does a lot of things say so do game wise. Kerbal. Hey, I'm not callous about Kerbal fatalities, they just happen. <laughs> yep, crusade money is gone. <laughs> to be fair, we did build two keeps and a duchy upgrade and a bunch of other stuff. you although now we're at plus 12 a month oh well now we're ahead of the uh... wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute wait 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 king of scotland died now it is King Hector. Interesting. And who is his heir? Princess Fenella of Scotland. Interesting. Would you like to marry Hamish Monroe? No, because he's club footed. What about Radolf Monroe? Oh, she club-footed. Oh, she's club-footed. We'll not accept. Um, hmm. Well, fine. Thought it was a good match, personally. She'll marry someone stupid. <laughs> Let's have a look at our new king. Arrogant, temperate, patient. Uh, an adulterer with lover's box. Interesting. What about um, this princess? Would you like to marry... Hamish Monroe? No. Ugh. Use a hook. If I had a hook. Um, we could try and get one, I suppose. Where's the spy master? Mm. 
Now I should be able to sell that, I think. Shouldn't I? I think I have golden obligations. Oh, no, I don't. We'll get golden obligations and then we'll... Uh, Uh, green cloud. Oh, rally points. Uh, actually, that reminds me. What I should do, actually, is set up uh, rally points at all my castles. Uh, basically, that means if one of them is being besieged, I can rate. If I hit raise all, it'll raise them in those four places, basically. So if you lose, if you're, if you can't raise them in Elgin, I can raise them in Banff, Dunkeld, or Dundee, basically. Good. Keep constructed in Buchan. Good. That'll keep the peasants in line. Alright, uh, guys. I'll be back in just a moment. I think that's someone up my door. Okay, Millie. Well, he was barking at ghosts. Oh. Right. Now we can get golden obligations. Okay, good. Where is he? You. Strong hook on him. <laughs> Shove him in prison. I should get ah demand payment. There it is. Hundred and ten. Yes, please. Blackmail you for a hook. And we can doesn't have enough good good. Blackmail her. Gold. <laughs> Better keep looking, Spy Master. Sixty percent chance, percent chance of success. We want to hook on the king for a reason. Oh yeah, so we could marry his uh, his heir. <laughs> 
or one of the princesses anyway. You got a black eye, mate. Pin the tube. <laughs> Compassionate gambler. Is that one of the princesses? Oh yeah, um, Innis. And the other one is a resentful paragon. That'll help. Plus 30 uh, for marriage proposals. Mm. Aww. Our wife has died. It's a shame. Liege has gone for war. Gone to war. Oh, it's a peasant uprising. Yeah, we accept. I think. Oh, no, He's in two wars, though, which is why he called us in. Not married. Prestige gain. Anyone who's actually, you know, of age. 26. Then kill, kill Martin. get 400 prestige uh, she gets 400 prestige done Okay, interesting. A few knights. Let's invite some. No, you've got good learning, but all the rest of your skills are shite.
What is this? Oh, Earl Connell's claim on the Kingdom of Scotland. Hmm. Nah, I think we'll be okay if we just stay out of this one. Keep our heads down. This is absolutely no good to get involved. are pretty secure from those armies wandering around. <laughs> Support my liege lord. Uh, no, because he's going to lose. <laughs> we might be able to turn it if we joined in. Maybe. But at the end of the day, you know, it, they, he's still a Dunkeld. He's just a different cadet branch. They are uh, attacking bits of my lands because they have 4,000 troops here. And this is where we can be sneaky. Because by doing this and getting all my troops to rally in Elgin. We can let the attrition take its toll. Until the numbers are in our favour, basically. Uh, or we need to march on Dunkeld. Uh, because they're about to siege it. Ah. Good, good, good. See, 42.45 versus 42.40. Oh, and one of them's moving off. Now we can uh, move on down. Actually, let's retake this county. Or this uh, burr. See, they've given up their siege and they're wandering off. Do I not control Aberdeen? No, I do not. Aberdeen is controlled by Earl Muir of the Merns, who is, oh, House Strathern, not House Munro. Well, then I don't care about you, do I? <laughs> Start scheming to get re control of this again, then. It was owned by, yeah, Earl William of the Merns, who is House Munro, and then this guy he became part of House Third for some reason. Oh, there's his own cadet branch. That's why. That's what happened. <laughs> we'll take this and then we'll uh, deal with this little, uh, this little lot.
Now that army's gone away because that war was declared lost. Which is again fine. Yes, please. Okay, so now they're going to attack Dunkeld again. Almost certainly. No, how are they going to attack me? I have an advantage. Hmm, advantage swings to them. Still have uh, slightly better ground, but no, we're losing now. It's annoying, but uh, their troops won't be enough to take any of our castles after this. Um, Treat. But we don't quite a lot of damage to them. But you're right, Aberdeen would be it would actually be a good target. They don't mind them besieging these places because they lose uh, troops all the time that they do that. Just curious if they're going to try and attack Banff. I think, ah, interesting, that'll take them a while, wait, two months, oh, they have siege weapons, how sneaky of them. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, Inverness. Although that's uh, part of Dane law, so it's a little bit harder to get at. No, we've died. No. Oh, no. Duke Hamish of Moray rests in the arms of the Lord at 69 years of age. Died of old age. A con conscientious man, he was renowned for his excellent skills as a steward and a ruler. Duke Hector ascends the throne, having lost many skills. He's sure to be admired by his subjects. Lovely. And he's only 28 as well. Right, I'm going to go uh, grab myself... Um, some uh, food and a drink and I will be back. <laughs>